Morning. Right, need to make something for shine. So let's get the coffee on, get upstairs, get on it. Right, the coffee's made. Um, we need to be over there working. Um, need to set a table up for cutting um, and then we'll show you what we're going to do. Bear with. Right, we've set the table up. Little package from Easy Composites. If you remember, Colin did that um, nice little shine automotive in his front grill. When I met him the other day, I thought it'd be nice if he had a carbon panel behind it. So that's what we're going to do today. So we've got Some of the um, easy composites, carbon fibre. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. This is their really nice stuff. So We'll use this as the front facing carbon. Oh, look. So we'll get this cut into the sizes we need and then we'll pop over to the glass and get it made. That bag will do. Right, let's move on. So I take these, so when I waxed it, got somewhere for the gum tape to stick, but it wouldn't have a lot of wax all stuck to it, so I knew we'd get a good a good stick. You need a good stick. Then gum tape around the outside. Because it's flat, I'm only putting three layers on. I don't think there's any need to put pleats in. We'll just um, we'll just stick it down as it is. Right, mix some resin. Right, so there we go. Where is it? There. There's 150 of epoxy. What is it? It's Easy Composites EL2 laminating resin. Need to give this a good mix. Scraping the sides, squishing the bottom. I think they recommend you go for at least two minutes. So I've put the fast hardener in and the slow mixed it 50 50 
Give me a bit more pot life. Get everything wet out. Wet out? Wetted out? I'll oh, just let that degas for a second. The slurp of coffee. Just checking to make sure we're not getting any bits of carbon sitting on the back edge. There's nothing worse than getting it all laid up and getting what you think is the perfect perfect lamination only to pull it off and find there's a toe straight across the, um, the uh, fabric. Lost my words then. Yeah. Right, pop you back on time lapse and we'll do this. Peel ply time, breathe the cloth. This will take up all of the excess resin. So I normally leave um, it bunched up over in that corner or a corner so I'm going to put the um, what do you call it the through bag connection on it's not sitting on the actual part you're pulling sitting in the corner but the breather layer will let all the air through get to the end and you find it the bag stretch which probably will chuck a plate in. All right, let's pull a vacuum. All right, we'll give that um, 15 minutes. Make sure we've got a uh, good seal. Looks like we have. And come back tomorrow. Pooh Bear would say, yesterday's tomorrow is today for me. Ah. Um, so, this is what happened yesterday. I think we lost a bit of vacuum overnight, but fingers crossed that hasn't affected us too badly. And it's released. see it on camera. I think we're going to run some resin over the top of that. We'll get this peeled off. We'll run some resin over the top of it just to level it. But it's got, um, it's got a few little porous bits. Not porous, but quite, I think because the vacuum didn't hold overnight properly, we've got a little bit of... Um, yeah. It looks okay, but... As you can see. Just see it slight dipping. That'll be okay though, we'll get that. Typical, as soon as you turn the camera off, it starts peeling up. So 
just went downstairs and trimmed it. Before we um, get too carried away, we'll just make sure the dust's out. So give it a quick wipe over with some isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol. I do like my cream. But clearly I only eat the cream because I need the pots. That's the only reason. Right, it's three to one. Next to your hard nut. 